Hi, this is Fern GZ Carr. Welcome to Kelowna Writers Social and Reading. Just a reminder, for free writing resources and all types of writing related videos to help and entertain you, please be sure to click subscribe. Okay, thanks very much Megan for the lovely introduction and thank you everybody for coming here. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you this evening and as Megan said, uh, the, what I'm going to read, two of the poems out of the three are from my book, Shards of Crystal. So I'm going to start off with a poem that has some local flavor and it's a true story. It happened near Lake Okanagan Resort quite a few years ago. It's called Return to Sender. Quote, Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds." Unquote. Inscription on the General Post Office, New York City. No snow, no rain, no heat, no gloom of night, just good old-fashioned sunshine enveloped the mail truck as it doggedly grappled its way to the summit, passing conifers and homes nudged slightly askew by their mountain host. On a glorious Disney morning, flowers a bloomin' and birds a tweetin', the postmistress steered her van with one hand while she sorted mail with the other, experienced eyes darting back and forth. Road, mail, road, mail, road, mail, until the road got lost in the mail and she found herself being returned to sender truck plummeting into the azure lake below. A splash, silence, eternity. Now she's but an anecdote, stamped into memory, local folklore shared with tourists on lazy summer days. next poem, Whose Air Did I Breathe, was published by Antioch University in New Hampshire, and it's got a really strange backstory. I was drinking a glass of water, and my husband, with a huge grin on his face, said, you know, you realize that you're drinking traces of uh, Julius Caesar's urine. And I, and I didn't believe him, of course, and I thought that he was just trying to get me to do a spit take. But, um, so I, I did some research about the recycling of atoms, and I found out that he, in fact, was right. So of course I had to write a poem about it. And like I said, it's called, Whose Air Did I Breathe? Conservation of matter, an eternal metamorphosis of splendor and sorrow in a universe of recycled atoms. Snowflakes, once the sweat of galley slaves rowing across treacherous seas, gently fall on a still winter's night. Spray from a Tahitian waterfall one droplet from the tears of an elephant mourning the loss of her calf raises an orchid's fuchsia petals. Tiny hands proffer a drink of lemonade containing molecular traces of Hitler's urine. Only 10 cents a glass. A desert oasis created in part by the saliva of a madman is a sustainer of life for its inhabitants. And so it is with air, O2 in, CO2 out. The metabolic function of respiration in sync with the rhythmic powerhouse of the cosmos. We borrow these atoms alone from the natural world, shared by living beings, but will never have sole proprietorship. Which begs the question, whose air did I breathe? poem is one of my favorites. Um, I actually, I wrote it on a music staff. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but uh, in keeping with the theme, okay, and uh, we uh, went for a walk, my husband and I went for a walk and we came across an outdoor jazz concert near the uh, Kelowna Art Gallery, and uh, I, I just loved the music so much I wrote a poem about it as soon as I got home. So, cool jazz. A curl of thin blue smoke snakes around a half-empty glass of stale scotch. And as the ice cubes melt, the lazy swishing of a brush caresses percussion cymbals. The mellow plucking of thick strings on the double bass in counterpoint with the twang of an electric guitar and the pained expression on the guitarist's face. While sultry saxophone romances the house 
confident fingers fly across the keyboard. Pianist eyes close, sways back and forth, entranced by the rhythm he creates. Shoulders heaving as he makes love to the piano. It's jazz and it's cool, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> much uh, for your kind attention. I hope you enjoyed my poetry. Uh, for more information about my work, uh, you can look me up on my website, my Wikipedia page, my YouTube page. They're all under Fern G. Said Par. Uh, my YouTube channel has a lot of free resources for writers, poets, and educators. All free. Sus subscription is free. You just have to press the little red button. Um, and I'll be doing a book signing for my book along with all of these other lovely, talented authors. And thank you very much again. It's been a real pleasure. Hey everyone, thanks very much for watching. For more free writing resources to help and entertain you, please be sure to click subscribe. My poetry book, Shards of Crystal, is available worldwide at retail bookstores and libraries through Ingram Spark iPage Distribution and also from Amazon and Silver Bow Publishing.